hello 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 good after i think it's afternoon i don't know what day it is, what time or day it is apparently <laughs> i am your host <laughs> stephanie and this is basic brunches where we basically get together eat noms and talk about things whether it's current events or pastime events or random ass topics but i think this one is going to be a fun one i think this one is actually going to be pretty fun like the last one was fun but this one's going to be fun all of them going to be whatever anyways my name is stephanie again and <laughs> to my right is hanako hi and hi. then below, below her is whitney hi <laughs> hi and then right here is Ginger. <laughs> hey. Yes. So this is going to be. Ow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did you hit yourself? I. <laughs> Filling arms. That's my fault. Um, this It's going to be fun. It's April 11th. It is the month of many things. Today is the day of many things. But let's start with food because it's brunch. It's still brunch time. I swear. I swear it's still brunch time. So tell me what you are eating. Let's start uh, with Hanako. Hanako, what are you eating today? I have, um, well, I ate all my bananas because I was hungry, but I have French toast <laughs> um, <laughs> with mascarpone in the middle. It was delicious, absolutely Ooh, delicious. Um, with banana, and, oh wait, no, there's, there's a couple bananas left. Ooh. <laughs> um, I can't. With banana and Nutella. Um, it's from Starling Diner because we didn't want to cook. Um, Starling Ooh. Diner is located in Long Beach on 3rd Street. It's delicious. I've been here before and I got the French toast last time. And they have different ones. Like I think Robert got like the black cherry one. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, yeah. And I also have uh, rum and Dr. Pepper. Mm. And... <laughs> <laughs> because who doesn't want to get tipsy for brunch? And then um, I have yeah. a banana Foster's milk, I guess, from Loose Leaf Boba Company. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. It sounds amazing. It sounds, it sounds so amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, Hanako, when I come down there, <laughs> can I? Can we like go to this place? Because <laughs> that sounds yeah, good. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I will go to you. It's so good. It's so cute. I love how cute the cafe is. Yeah, my usual place, I haven't been to you because of Panorama, you know, but it's, I don't know if it's even around anymore and it's super sad. But anyways, I digress. I can't wait to experience that experience that you are experiencing with the food. <laughs> I'm sober, I swear to God. All right, next we have <laughs> Whitney. Whitney, what are you eating today? So I'm actually having cupcakes because I baked some cupcakes yesterday. I uh, made some little... Iron Throne, Game of Throne cupcakes. Ooh, that's <laughs> cool. So. Oh my god. So I'm having that, and then I have some little dragon egg cookies, too. <laughs> I love that. See, this is so why cute. we need to follow her on Instagram, <laughs> because she posts, she always makes really cute, like, themed things. I even saw, like, you Aww. made a guac dip, and I forgot what he, it was Hulk, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Hulk guac dip. Dick Hulk guac. Love it. Guac. And Ginger, what guac. are you having today? Um, so my food isn't as exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but um I just have a little breakfast burrito. Um, which is just that it has eggs in it because I'm trying not to eat too much um carbs and sugar. But um, my fiance's uh, mother, so my future mother-in-law, sent us some banana bread. Um, so I know I'm not supposed to have carbs or sugar, and that's exactly what banana bread is. But since she sent it to us, like, he can't eat that whole loaf. By <laughs> so having a little bit of that as well. Um, to drink, I'm just having some flavored water with a side of multivitamins. So, <laughs> so my food is not exciting, but it's um, edible and I made it. Made it's a nice, fun. healthy start. Yes. <laughs> it's boring, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I was going to say, hold on, hold on. Speaking boring. of boring, bo okay. Speaking of boring carbs, I made pancakes. 
It's, it's literally it's just basic ass pancakes. I would love to actually Ooh. have some pancakes. Ooh. No. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be mm-hmm. completely honest with you. I found Same. the pancake mix like in the cabinet and I don't remember <laughs> when it came from, but hmm. it still tastes good. So did you look at the expiration date? No, I don't want to look it's at the expiration date. Usually on the, date. Top. Usually on the <laughs> bottom or maybe on the top flat. Because if you don't remember the- where it came from. Girl, I hope you don't get poisoned in the middle of the show because. Uh, Did you make sure there were. Was it to- unopened? Did you make sure there was no <laughs> little. <laughs> Not fun. Oh, no, I checked Weevils? it. Too. It was. Tr- okay, so it was really tricky because it's a southern pecan maple pancake mix so there were mm-hmm. like pecans in there but no i sifted and i was like Mm-mm, i'm making sure i do not want anything in here that should right. not be in here <laughs> right <laughs> you don't need to no there's no shrimp in it <laughs> yeah, no shrimp like in the cinnamon toast oh shrimp my god front. <laughs> let's see oh god. oh my yeah. gosh okay i'm checking out the comments real quick <laughs> and the the f- it, the fat Jedi Knight said, "Hey, it is I, your favorite overweight Force user." I'm like, "No, you're my favorite Hi. Force user, second to <laughs> second to Obi Wan." But you know, that's my own problem. Uh, let's. <laughs> we got a lot to cover, and we're really excited. So tune, like, participate in comments however you want, except with mean words. Don't do that, because I yeah. Blocking is my normal daily routine, so don't. Anyways, yeah. moving on. Or we'll fight you. We will fight you in real life. I mean, I have no problem meeting somebody uh-huh. in the it's parking like... lot. We can do it. Me neither. I've been building power. Me neither. I've, I've been I've been gaining experience points and uh, power because you know like, knowledge. Hold my earrings. Right. Yes. I have a lot of pent up aggression that I would like right. to get out. Right. I will fight somebody in the street. Please try. <laughs> no, but the, <laughs> the fat Jedi Knight, you're good, bud. You're good. You're good. You're good, buddy. We're talking about those trolls, is what we're talking about. The troll lols. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyways, so this is basic brunches. We're having brunch, but April 13th is the <laughs> National Make Lunch Count Day. Who knew there was a day that was like, hey, don't forget your lunch? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, brunch is super glamorous. Come on, it's it's rad. You see your friends, you get drunk early in the morning, and nobody can judge you. But obviously, it's not ideal for an everyday situation. So when you get caught up with work or your schedule gets really weird and different, and other people or whatever, wh- whatever. Anyways, lunch is very important, supposedly, as much as breakfast. Apparently, <laughs> um, I'm guilty of skipping breakfast all the time i don't wake up early enough for breakfast so it's always brunch or lunch and that's mm-hmm. my breakfast but my question is what is your ideal lunch lineup let's let's word it that way that sounds that sounds lunch fancy lineup. the fanciness hanukkah lunch lineup it usually depends on my mood but <laughs> what i can always always have is um <clears throat> in japan there's this like bowl like a rice bowl that has um, like, not shredded tuna, but it's like all like mushed tuna on top with like green onions and then like shoyu on top, so soy sauce on top. It is the most delicious thing in the entire universe. That and like just like oolong tea or just any kind of green tea or anything like that. I'm, I'm totally happy. I'm, I'm a simple girl. Simple girl. That's all I want. Any Japanese food is always my favorite. No, that's true. That's fair. No, that's completely fair. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I can't wait to tell about them. I'm, I'm, I'm such a weirdo. Okay, anyways, Whitney, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, my boyfriend makes fun of me. So, uh, yeah, this is my boyfriend. Uh, shout out, Richard. I actually love having breakfast for lunch because I usually tend to skip breakfast, but I'll like be up around lunchtime. So I'm like, Oh, I'm going to make myself some nice breakfast now. Um, But ideally for lunch, I kind of like more of like a avocado or kind of like a chicken salad kind of dish. That sounds delicious. That sounds yummy. Look, it's, it doesn't matter what you have for lunch. It's what do you like for lunch? (laughs) 
<laughs> what with the eyebrow? Yes. I don't know. I don't know why it's yes. the eyebrows. I <laughs> Thank you. My, my, my vitamins have messed me up, okay? I've got too much energy for no reason, and I think I need to go see somebody for this. <laughs> Ginger, what about you? What is your ideal lunch? Um, you know, I, I'm kind of similar <laughs> with everyone else of, like, I sometimes skip breakfast or I have breakfast later but if I had the choice to just like actually sit down and eat a lunch um you know I would really and I think just because I haven't had like bread I can only I only give myself bread like once a week so I would love to have just like a really nice (laughs) sandwich and potato chips and like just like a turkey sandwich with you know tomatoes lettuce um mayo or whatever and just like some potato chips to the side and um you know maybe like a a iced tea or something like that like I would really enjoy just eating a really nice sandwich um the tuna sandwich sounds great too chicken salad sounds great like some of these things sound great um so I would go with a sandwich. Like I would really love to just like sit down and just grub it, grub on like a really nice toasted sandwich. <laughs> Dang. But not Subway toasted, like an actual mm. sandwich. Like right, I just want to make Subway. sure. I don't even nice. like, well, just go to Subway, ho. Like <laughs> get you a sandwich. No, not like mm. Subway. <laughs> no, like <laughs> I would say, <laughs> like, look, okay, so. Quiznos and Subway, they're great. No, whatever. Okay, great. It's right. not the same. It's not the same. Right. I totally understand. No. Not the same. Have you ever had have you guys ever had Ike's sandwiches? It's like so freaking good. Ike's? It's called Ike's. Oh yeah. Oh, there's one that. in Long Beach, but there's other there's some in like Uh-oh. Irvine too, I think. And they have like this one called Adam Richmond. It's fried chicken with pesto sauce and ham. Mm. And it's so <gasps> good oh it mm, sounds so good. good i'm gonna have to look up bikes it's delicious. that sounds mind-blowing mm. oh my god <laughs> i want it have to look up bikes. <laughs> yeah they have some really they have really good sandwiches i highly recommend yes yeah, oh. that sounds great i'm gonna have to look them up <laughs> yes otherwise i mean like ginger i'm sure you would really like a panini if you could yes yeah that yeah. would that would be great you know even like a grilled cheese sounds really good right now you know oh. like a real grilled cheese sandwich which is like Ooh. butter on both Ooh. sides type of thing yes. yeah oh, so good. <laughs> Amazing. the fat jedi knight says i have a bomb chinese food place i get for lunch all the time <laughs> yo Yum. Yum. i like i had to mute myself so i could type Yum. this i was like oh my god yes same that shit is so good because that shit is so good <laughs> <laughs> so like my like not a typical day, but like a dream day where I can eat what I want and not feel bad. I go for the Korean food. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's good too. Yes. Yeah, like I miss all you can oh, eat Korean. Yes. Oh, so good. Like for that's lunch, good. I don't want anything super heavy, but I don't want something like super, super basic, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you can't even see it because no, I never like background. My, yeah, my you gotta put it in front of your face. <laughs> I, pancake, but you have non-basic pancakes. There's like right? pecans. It was in them. so basic you couldn't even see it. No, like <laughs> I, I love eating poke or cold noodles, like soba or more naengmyeon, <laughs> which is like a cold, mm-hmm. like a Korean cold noodle soup, and throw some kimchi in that bitch. Oh, so good. Or like, if I want to skip food and I just want to get a drink, I go for like chrysanthemum tea or like corn silk tea, yeah. barley tea, nurungji, which is like. Um, you know, if you go to like Korean barbecue and you get that, what is it? What is it? cast iron pot with the rice mm. in it? And the the crunchy rice is like stuck on the pot. They scoop it out. They put water in there, and that yeah. that bath, that rice bath, is what I like. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my thing. Um, but yeah, so I mentioned paninis. Because this is a fun trying attempt of segueing <laughs> into our first topic, which Ginger is going to talk about a little bit. But it's been three weeks, eighteen like eighteen ish days, three weeks since Lil Nas X put out his latest music video. The month mon- really, it's been three weeks. <laughs> I know it's so weird. I feel like it just like happened. Maybe I just keep watching the video. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Call me by my name. Call me by my name. 
Yes. Um, but like Steph said, yeah, I can't believe it's been three weeks, but it's been number one for a while now. I guess it's like another milestone for him. So yay, little Nas. Um, but the con I just kind of want to talk about the controversy of it, which is so crazy to me. Um so there's several things that happened. Um, I'll try to give you the cliff notes if you weren't aware or didn't watch the video. Um, so in the video, Little Nas, he actually plays several parts, different people in the video, but it's him. Um, but it um, kind of has a lot of Christian imagery, um, Greek mythology kind of imagery, but there's um, an opening sequence where he's like in the Garden of Eden, the snake um, kind of uh, seduces him then um, he's brought into this like town square, chained up, gets stoned to death, goes to heaven, um, gets rejected out of heaven, does this whole sequence where he's doing, um, going around a stripper pole, descending into hell, gives the devil a lap dance, kills the devil, takes his horns, grows wings, and that's the end of the video. And it's beautiful chef's kiss um, <laughs> because the looks in this video is amazing. Uh, but there's some controversy um, with another artist um, that goes by the name of Twigs. Um, she she thought that he copied her in the sense of just copying her. Uh, but then there's a few things that came out. So I don't know who's telling the truth. But he says that, yes, he's seen her video and he thought the imagery was great. But since she didn't win a category that he won, so he wanted to pay like homage to her. And then her team is saying like, no, they wanted to hire the choreographer or whatever that did her video and they didn't, so they just stole it. So I don't know, but they're still friends. Twigs and Little Nas are still friends. They like, you know, had their little in Instagram like, oh, but you know, da da da, thanks for the homage. But there's also, so they're cool, um, which, it, you know, Twigs does alternative um, kind of, I guess more alternative R&B. So if, she isn't on the radio, so you're not gonna hear her on the radio. She just makes um, CDs, music, and um, videos and things. Um, but also the controversy more in the kind of fashion realm is that um, he came out with these sneakers uh, that um, sold out in like less than like a minute or an hour, some crazy amount um, of these thousand dollar sneakers that were custom made that have a lot of devil imagery on them, 666. They apparently have um, human blood in them. I don't know if that's true. I kind of feel like who donating their blood to this, but maybe, maybe somebody said, sure, Lil Nas wants my blood, he can take a whole fight. I don't know. I don't know what you do when somebody says, hey, can I have your blood for this thing? Um, <laughs> But um, the the streetwear company um, that came came out with it collabed with him for it. Um, I it's not mischief, but that's what it kind of looks like it spells. But anyway, this streetwear company came out with it. Um, they took Nike shoes, re kind of painted them, and sold them. So people are mad because of the devil imagery, and they're blaming Nike. And Nike was like, "Hey, we didn't come out with this. They took our shoes." and made a thing. So now we're going to sue them. But OK, whatever. People were burning their Nike stuff and whatever. When Colin Kaepernick was all like, hey, can y'all stop being racist? They're like, you are anti-American, you. And it was just like, huh? So anyway, different story, but whatever. So um, a lot of people are mad. <laughs> and so that kind of made Nike be all like, hey, we're suing you because on the shoe, even though you can custom make shoes and whatever, you can buy shoes and then custom customize them. That wasn't the problem. The problem was that they left the Nike check on there. So that's that kind of intellectual property that they've kind of stolen and used um, and making profits off of. So honestly, if they just like covered that, it wouldn't be even a problem because you wouldn't even know that they were Nikes um, if they had covered that up. So there's a whole um, lawsuit going on about it. Lil Nas is like kind of having like he's totally joking about like so many things like this is the thing with me is that he's just he takes everything in such like stride in a joking matter because he's just so cute but he like will share memes about like you know squidward begging for like change and he's like me after this nike lawsuit or hey <laughs> give me some money so i so that i can have some money after this nike lawsuit like he's really funny about things you know but his whole 
reason of making the video was that he he said he was you know he's been gay for a while and ever since he came out as gay people you know people in his life the church whatever has been telling him he's going to hell so like why not make the video of him going to hell killing the devil and then taking the why not like you say i'm gonna go so i made a whole video about me going but you mad that i went (laughs) it's just like (laughs) This is like a song for my like younger self. Like he wrote the song to his younger self. So, um, you know, I, I, as someone who I would say used to be Christian, I'm more spiritual now. Um, you know, I do play to, pray to Jesus, but my Jesus is not white. Um, my Jesus is black. God is a woman. Um, but anyway, so uh, like I can understand how those things could scare you, but like in a sense, you watch the video. I don't understand how that devil looks like a devil, Satan. Cause that devil, to me, it doesn't look like Satan. Like Satan would not look like that. <laughs> like, does it look scary? Just kind of looks kind of like a robot kind of sitting there as little Nas is like twerking on him upside down and all this stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I don't think that's really that scary. And even like his pictures of him posed next to the shoes. Okay, like he has red contacts. I'm like, there's anime characters with red contacts like, or red eyes and shit. I don't, I mean, I'm not afraid of that. Um, you know, I get some of the like pentagram and 666, like, trust me, when I grew up as a little Lutheran child going to private school, I was afraid to say 666 out of loud. I thought like the devil was going to sprout up if I said 666, since I was the cup, you know, (laughs) name of the beast or whatever. Like the Bloody Mary thing. Yeah. Like I thought that because I'm like, Mm -hmm. you know, everybody's like, oh yeah, see in Revelation, this one (laughs) chapter I'm so superstitious though about certain (laughs) things though. (laughs) So I just. I'm like, eh, but if that's what's supposed to protect you, then like, why would that happen? I don't know. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, trust me. And I'm, and there are certain things that I'm a little like afraid of. Cause I, I feel like I used to hear spirits before. So like, I kind of tune that out. So I don't like, cause I used to like feel like yeah. right here and I oh, turn yeah. and nobody was there and I'd be all like, what the? Like, am I being possessed? Like, you know, possessed, <laughs> yeah, like, yes. certain poltergeist <laughs> kind of scares me a little bit. There's certain things yes. that do scare me, like demon scary things, yes. Oh, yeah. But, I, but looking objectively at the video and knowing that Little Nas has said this is about his life, this is about how he grew up, this is about how people treat him, I just don't think, I don't think, like, the, it's like, the the controversy is being projected onto it when it's not. And he's not the first artist to use, you know, um, either Christian imagery or God and a devil type of imagery in their video. You know, and a lot of, I feel like a lot of alternative people do it. A lot of, um, like, even because DMX just passed, like rappers DMX has, has done that. But then you listen to, like, his music, you hear his backstory, you know he was tortured, like, most of his life. I mean his mom beat him for most of his life because he looked like his father. Like, that's, like, so you hear the torture soul in his music, and that's why he's always like, ah, da-da, da-da, That's why, because he's, like, he's tortured soul. Like, you can hear it. So, I don't know. I think it's just more of, like, taking a step back and looking and, like, thinking about, okay, well, if somebody was told their whole life this is going to happen and then it happened, why are you shocked that, like, they did the thing that you said was going to happen? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that you say this because like <laughs> it it the music video was so artistically done. It was very metaphorical. Like you mm-hmm. you said that there are reasons like there was a backstory behind it. There's like and with DMX there was also a backstory. So it's like how I want to know how are people surprised by these things? Like how how are they surprised? <laughs> that people- I don't I don't know. That's the thing that gets me because when you hear like and I and granted I listen to a lot of sad girl music about a lot of you know oh this man broke up with me or I did all these things for this man it's terrible like you would think I've had like terrible relationships how much I listen to sad girl music but then you but you listen to the music listen to the lyrics either watch the videos and you can really feel the hurts within the song so it almost like transports you to what they were feeling when they wrote the song. So that's how I felt when I, you know, heard this song. And this song for for Little Nas is really like personal to him. Like, you know, other songs he's done has just been, you know, fun, poppy songs, whatever. But even before when he before he came out as gay, he was all like, like on my album cover, I had a rainbow. 
So like that was clear. Like I was telling you guys before I even came out, like I'm gay, but people are shocked that he was gay when he came out. And I was like, but you, I mean, you, you look how like what he's done and how he's dressed and how he's done stuff. Not to say like you yeah. can dress gay, but like how mm-hmm. how he really just is unapologetic about it. Like, okay, he's like, this is who I am and this is who I am now. And he's mm-hmm. you know kind of changing the way for other um, just young younger um, younger people, younger um, like artists and things mm-hmm. to be able to just come out and say like, this is who I am. Like. Mm-hmm. I am part of this community and it's okay that I feel like I can come out and I can still share my art and I don't have to hide this part of me right. to be popular, to be mainstream, to be loved by a bunch of people. That I think that's what it is. And then I think the conservatives don't get like as much as you keep talking about it and keep streaming it. I mean, it's just going to keep getting number one on all the charts. So <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> like Cardi B said that kind of shit. She was like, all the haters, you guys can fucking share my shit and watch my shit. That's fine. Cause I'm still getting right. fucking pay. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 She did. When she, I guess her Grammy performance. Cause her and Meg were like, yeah, you're getting or whatever. Like, yeah. Time. But I'm it. like, yeah, okay. Exactly. She makes music for, like her and Meg and all these other make music for like adults they're not sitting there like oh let me make this like sesame i made this song for sesame no (laughs) that's part of like that's that's the conservatives like argument though right like what about the children it's like i don't know they're your freaking kids like take care of them like it's not the artist's responsibility you're the one that popped them out that's on you (laughs) (laughs) right in the comments let's see the fat jedi knight said i don't like the song as much as the video but it's really good shit and i'm like Mm -hmm. yes because look i i listened to the song before i watched the music video only because I was working and the only way that I can like listen to what's what's happening is by listening to it and I like Lil Nas X has always had really good like just the flow it just seemed really good the fluidity of the song the fluidity of the lyrics the fluidity of the presentation it was always really really cool and I'd like to hear what you guys also think about the music video I love the music video it's great and I love everything that's coming out, like on TikTok. Like the people <laughs> are including him sliding down the pole. Like, oh, I can't. oh my god, can't. it's the greatest thing. <laughs> like they're all pretending they're in hell, and then they're like, "Oh, <laughs> okay." I mean, like, and it's just I like <laughs> I've tried pole dancing before too, like, all the and it's really of difficult. Of it are just brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I was just really impressed. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was really, it was beautifully done. I mean, I, I think even like his hair and his outfits that he was wearing and everything in it was just really, just really beautifully done. And then there's like little things that are just even like, it's not even serious. Like the part where he was in the town square chained up, he said, (laughs) When they were storyboard storyboarding that he got that from SpongeBob when he was chained up for that for throwing that peanut at the clam. Like, like seriously, the my fact favorite that he's thing using ever. a SpongeBob reference sends me like if you ever <laughs> he's just and on top of that, he's just trolling everyone right. on top of that. It's just right. so it's a it's great. It's amazing. Yes. Whitney, what did you think about the music video? Because we've been really hyped. Yeah. I thought it was, first of all, you know, it's visually stunning. Like, you know, the cinematography is beautiful. And obviously, I love the metaphors. And I just love that he's owning who he is and he's having fun. And yeah, like you said, you know, he's like, oh, this is what you want. Then boom. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm going to hell. And in a stripper pole. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> in some Calvin Klein's and, <laughs> and thigh high boots. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but... Everybody yes. out there, if you're... that is the way to go. I'm down. Yeah, exactly. One way ticket. Like it's it's everything that I say too. Like when people tell me to go to hell, I was like, I have a one way ticket there. I have a throne there. I have a vacation else there. Thank oh my you. God, we're neighbors then, because I know I have a penthouse. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> but I digress, and I know like so, and I know we want to get to other topics too because they're also mm-hmm. very interesting as well. <laughs> um, but if you haven't listened or watched. Little Nas X's latest music video, you should totally do it on YouTube or wherever you watch your music 
videos. Music okay, videos. moving on. Next. <laughs> MTV. No, I'm playing. They don't even play music videos, right? <laughs> no, not anymore, I don't think. Right? Thank you, MTV, think. for your 30 years of service and your 15 years of music videos. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, Hanukkah. So we're, we're going to move into exactly. true crime. <laughs> we're going to move into true crime now. And Hanako has a, a closed case that is su- shockingly, like, close to her ball, like, her, her ballpark, neck of the woods kind of thing. I don't, I don't know how to word that. But, like, you have some sort of, like, super random relation to the case or to yeah. the person. Yes. Yeah. Please. Yeah. So um, my case is about Susan Monica. And coincidentally today they're actually airing their snapped episode on oxygen about her which is great i had no idea and i was like okay so after this i'll be watching that but anyway so when i was going to college up in northern (laughs) california i had a friend who was dating someone who lived in weimar oregon and she was visiting him you know every weekend or every other weekend or whatever like that and one of those trips he decided to um, introduce her to his neighbors and he had his own farmstead. So he built his own house and like they, you know, grew their own produce and all that type of stuff. And so their neighbors were pretty far apart because they had acreages. So one neighbor was like this really lovely couple and this other neighbor was Susan Mott drive. And like, it's basically a shack, like a dilapidated shack. And it like there's toilets in the yard and like just like sheets of metal in the yard sticking out of the ground and like all this stuff. Like think of like the worst horror movie that you can think of. It's that it's it is a horror scene. And so they get out and he's introducing her and you know she was just like you know she, she you could tell that she just didn't have a lot of social interactions with other people because like she didn't know what to do with her face when she wasn't talking. So, like, she'd, like, pucker her lips or, like, squint her eyes or, like, she'll, like, randomly laugh at, like, really inappropriate moments and, you know, whatnot. And you know, she just described her as, like, being covered pretty much head to toe in, like, mud and with overalls on, with a shotgun on her back. But she had very, very pink, sparkly fingernails. Don't know why. She just did. Um, so she was taking, so she took them on a tour around her land, I guess. And like in the shack was basically a hog pen with a mattress in it, which is supposedly where she slept. Her toilet was a chair with a hole and a bucket underneath. <laughs> they didn't, she didn't have running water or anything like that on her land. Um, so like my ongoing joke about this with her was just like, I was like, oh, well, you know, I've watched Criminal Minds and, you know, there's an episode where this these two guys like fed their victims to their bit, pigs and their hogs. So, you know, be careful. Don't don't get killed and get fed to her, her pigs, you know. And so for a going away <laughs> gift, I gave her a pink sparkly nail polish with a card that said, hey, you know, why don't you become like friends with her and have like sleepovers and like paint each other's toenails so that she doesn't kill you and feed her to her hogs. Oh my God. So this was like 2012, 2013. A year later in 2014, my friend messages me and she's just like, do you remember Susan Monica? And I'm like, um, I can't forget her. She haunts my nightmares. Thank you. And she's like, yes, yeah, so she's been arrested. <laughs> um, for two murder or for murder at the time they only knew of one so anyways i'm gonna tell you what happened so she was arrested in january 2014 um she was confronted for fraud because she was using the food stamp card of an organ of somebody else named um it was a handy man named richard haney um so a pot so when the authorities went there and they searched her residence they found evidence of human remains which then prompted like a full search of her property. So then over the next three weeks, um, on over 20 acres of farmland, they uh, found Haney's body, who was 59 years old, he went missing in like September 2013. And Stephen Frank Delicino, Delicino, I guess, who went missing in like 2012. Um, 
both of the both of the men were handymen um, on her farm. And she admitted basically to removing clothes from one of the men to enable the pigs to eat them. Um, they ended up digging like 130 holes in on her land in search of other victims. Um, they didn't find any. <laughs> um, lucky. Um, but upon interviewing her, they found that they like she gave like different stories of what happened um, and how they died. She said that uh, Delicino shot himself um, repeatedly in the head in 2012. I don't know how that happens. Um, and then she changed it to say that she also shot him in self-defense. And then after that is when the pigs began to eat portions of his body. She also then claimed to bury remnants of his corpse after finding the pigs eating them. Um, and then she said that with Haney, um, he had disappeared from the farm in the summer of 20 fouling him. Um, yeah. So she, this is her claim, okay? She's saying that he disappeared and then she just came upon him when he was getting devoured by pigs. And in order to um, rest his suffering, she shot him to death. But she wasn't sure if she actually shot him to death. <laughs> so like some of his remains were found in plastic bags. And stuff I also like love that. that her first response wasn't to call like 911. Like no, no. I mean, like, her neighbors and stuff said that, like, they saw her feeding, like, other animals and what looked like human remains to her pigs. So I don't know. <laughs> so that was okay. So she was arrested, whatever, whatever. And, but she decided to represent herself during the trial. Um, <laughs> there's videos of this. So, like, you can kind of see what my friend was talking about. And, like, so throughout the trial, she had like makeup artists do her makeup and like different wigs and stuff because she didn't have hair. Um, and like she was wearing like super formal clothing and stuff like that. Um, but she did plead not guilty to two counts of murder and abuse of accords and identity theft. Um, she also laughed when investigators um, said that they were attempting to find other victims. Um, and then... This was the this was the part. She asked for her hogs or her pigs to be donated to the community for for food for the needy, which you can't do. The pigs had to be euthanized, which is you know. Um, That's so sad for the pigs. Like they didn't. They they're just like oh food. I don't know what this is. Yeah, you know? but with any animals that attack or or eat humans, they kind of. I mean, that's the route that they usually have to take is that they have to euthanize them, mm -hmm. um, which is why Harambe, mm -hmm. you know, rest in peace, big guy. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, like, mm -hmm. it, it just, it, it, you know, it's not their fault, obviously, but it's just something that happened. But it is known that pigs do pretty much eat everything oh um, my and anything. Um, so on April 21st, coming up, 2015, she was convicted on all counts. Um, it was six days of testimony and only an hour of deliberation. Um, she's currently serving 50 years in prison with the Oregon Department of Corrections. And um, on the final note, during the investigation, she was filmed saying, I do not value human life very much. My feeling is the only thing wrong with the planet is there's people on it. If not for us, all the other animals, even dodo birds, would be here. Not the actual fuck. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my I know. God. <laughs> it's wow. it's. Like I said, I was joking. I was joking when I initially made <laughs> first made that joke. I was joking. I didn't actually think <laughs> we would find out that she actually killed people and fed them to her pigs. Hogs, pigs. I can't usually tell the difference, but yeah. I was mortified. I was just like, <laughs> what? Oh my god. That's insane. Yeah, I know. like what, So, what like, did she do all this cuz she wanted some food stamps or I don't know. I, I don't I, like did she say why she I mean, it seems like she's done them? this stuff. Did before? they not handyman properly or something? Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And like the scary part was like my friend's then husband would like go to her 
property and help out sometimes. And like, mm. she wanted help with like draining her pond and like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But like, it was, Ooh. like I said, I had originally made yeah, a joke. I'm convinced there's more than two victims. <laughs> I mean, there probably are. Yeah. But like, mm. if it's been a long time, like they're not gonna. And if the know. pigs ate everything, then yeah, unless it's in a in the amount of time before they yeah. can digest it, then yeah. they are not gonna know. But they had to get rid of them. Something but yeah, like no, that. it was just it was insane. I, like I said initially, I had joked. I I was literally just joking because I'd watch a Criminal Minds episode that had something <laughs> like that in it, and I was just like, just be careful. Because I know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, but no, it actually happened, and I was just like, oh, "Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean it." So Oops. many questions, oh, wow. and then she didn't really answer why, other than yeah. saying that just, yeah, like, people shouldn't be on them. Earth. She didn't answer, like, what, like over, like, was this over some food stamps? Did he not hammer correctly? Did I mean, it seems like correctly? it seems like she did steal his food stamps. I mean, that's obviously what happened. I don't know if she did it because of that. Um, it doesn't I mean, if you got like hogs, that. can't you just like make some bacon or something? I mean, I, don't know, I told you, I she had that. She had a magic. <laughs> the scariest part is the fact that I and I, I swear to you, this is what my friend said is that she had a mattress in the hog pen, which meant that she probably slept with them. And that's, that's weird. No, no. It, and those, are, I mean, those things are yeah, loud no. and big. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. But it's, it was just so it like, just, is this where the saying comes from about this? Like, oh, yeah, like, I'll take you to the pig farm or something. Like, or, I don't know. You know that, like, weird saying where you say that and it means because pigs will eat human because they eat anything. So they'll eat mm -hmm. human remains like. Oh, I'm gonna take you to my cousin's pig farm or something. I mean, like when you're from her somebody. <laughs> it's not from her because the criminal minds episode happened before this. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know, but it was who was the first person that was like, you know what? Hogs, here you go. Like, oh my god. Who was the first murderer. I wonder just like who was the first murderer that thought of right. that? And like you never kind of think I mean, you know, with Tiger King, it was Carol Baskins, like with her husband, <laughs> like with the tiger. Oh so like <laughs> <laughs> like who I just say it like who like wh everybody with all these like animals are just like you know what you'll probably eat a human like I, I don't know how you think that way get to that point of like I'm gonna kill this person also get rid of the body you know what my animals right take care of it. like are you just sitting around and like <laughs> just the, exactly the, right the vibe. we got one comment in the chat and it was wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's my that's my connection to that. And there's gonna be a snapped episode, so I'm super excited because I love snap. That's yeah. my, that's my that's my. But so is it gonna explain why yeah. she snapped? And just <laughs> I mean, there's probably. I don't know. I think they did more interviews with people around, and oh, my okay. my only so yeah, my yeah. only thing was from my friend who lived in like the next house mm -hmm. over in the mm -hmm. in the acreage and. Um, so yeah, so that was the only, you know, only thing that I got from her. And then mm -hmm. the rest I found out from doing more research because I was interested and wanted to see what happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And the videos are pretty insane. Um, mm. they're like watching her. It's kind of like, uh, okay. Mm. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's some good oh, wow. news. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, guys. You guys were eating and everything. I was Oops. still eating. It doesn't. It doesn't bother yeah, me. Yeah, I was still eating. I was just questioning. Like, there's, there's so many questions for her. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> right. But happy news. We did get a fifty dollar donation on our Kofi account from Lil Neko K Tiffy. Just saying, because you guys are amazing. So thank you so much. These Yay! this money goes okay. to like funding equipment and product and just thank you like it, it helps a lot so yay but speaking yay. of <laughs> this is this is so i'm um, whatever i'm already going to help speaking of a lot of murder and bloodshed and eating <laughs> random things we are going to talk about <laughs> what whitney wants to talk about and it is the game of thrones so tell us <laughs> yeah what is happening with game of thrones because there is a recent hashtag that's been trending a lot yeah so it is the 10-year anniversary 
of when it premiered. So it's called the Iron Throne, Anna, or I'm sorry, the Iron Anniversary. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so basically it's a two week streaming event on HBO. So if you could just go to, to the website or HBO Max and it has like extra content, like Easter eggs and like really cool, like special behind the scenes features that haven't been seen before. And it's really cool. It's also, there's like, uh, like uh, binge charity challenges. And you can also contribute to various charities like uh, Woman for Woman, the Trevor Project, um, International Rescue Committee and so forth. Um, but you can also kind of choose your binge route. Like, for example, if you're a huge Daenerys Targaryen fan, um, there's like the, you just select her character and their specific episodes are really highlighted that kind of feature her best moments. Or if you're more about like the epic battles or specific, like a specific viewing order of that. So it's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. So it's kind of, kind of a cool thing happening right now. That's so rad that they're doing a binge like fundraiser thing, because I was looking at some of the organizations that they're going to, that they're going to be donating to and i'm like that is so rad like the trevor project that you m mentioned before i was looking at that because i wanted to start doing like fundraising streams as well so that was one that i was really looking at and i'm like oh, that's awesome that they're doing it and like i was also yeah. looking at the website earlier like, like yesterday this morning <laughs> this morning <laughs> but i was like looking and i was like what are all these random playlists and there was like notifications of spoiler alerts in case you wanted to watch it chronologically but oh that's so cool what did you guys think what do you think of i watched yeah, some of the behind yeah. the scenes stuff which was really cool the interviews mm -hmm. um i never got into game of phones very much because it like some of the topics were really triggering for me so i couldn't really watch it but I do love all the actors that are in it, um, especially Amelia Clark. I have such a huge crush on her. She's adorable. So mm -hmm. I watched the interviews. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Daenerys <laughs> poster. She's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I, I watched the interviews and it it's such a it's such a series. It's a huge series. And I know how important it was for a lot of people. So I'm really glad that you guys are getting to experience this again because Things like this is a lot of fun being in a fandom. That's yeah. the best part about it. Yeah. 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 The behind the scenes stuff is cool. Like um Hanako was saying, like the um interviews, um, first season had come out or maybe before, but um my fiance or you know, boyfriend at the time, but now he's my fiance. <laughs> so that's how long this damn series is. Um, <laughs> you know, he uh he was, <laughs> he was telling me like, oh, he 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 had he was telling me about like, oh, Joffrey, when you see Joffrey, you're gonna hate him. You're gonna hate Joffrey. And the first time I saw him, I was like, I hate this child. Like, why <laughs> is he such an asshole? Um, but you know, and then apparently, like, he in real life, like the he's the complete opposite of like his character. Like, he is like that is real acting because like he is completely opposite of his terrible character. Um, and then um, what's his name? Um, Tyrion, the imp. Like him, like my fiance was like, oh, you're going to love him. <laughs> like he is, he is like, just like, he makes the show. And this was like very in the beginning where his character development, you didn't see the full thing. He just was kind of like, you know, he always joking, kind of drunk, mm. always, you know, going to the brothel and stuff. Um, but then <laughs> like you see him like over time change or like consistently um just I guess his character just develops but like you see that he keeps getting stopped because of you know his, his um sister hates him because it's like oh you killed our mother like you are the reason when you were born that's you know she died so it's all your fault so you can see like he keeps getting stopped and since he's you know he's not um since and they don't they don't like fully respect him but he keep he's he tries to help out everyone like when there's parts where Joffrey was you know treating Sansa really badly like he would step in and be like this is your future queen what are you doing like what is your problem why are you pointing a crossbow at her you know like this is your future queen and like when the <laughs> town started attacking everything and you know Joffrey was like kill everybody and they all started attacking whatever you know um he was like, where's Sansa? That's your future queen. How are you going to leave her behind? And like, you need to go get her. You know, like, it was just like, he was the one that had like the most just like common sense knowledge throughout the full thing. And um, it was just really great when he was talking about it to like, like, oh yeah, you're right. He was the one that kind of led everybody along and he tried to do the best, 
make the best out of the situation that, it, you know, just things kept happening and whatever. He tried to make the best out of the situation. So mm -hmm. it, it was really good. I think, you know, the, the series... The series, I haven't read any of the books, so I'm not one of those fans that are like, well, I have read the books before the series came out, so I have all the knowledge. And I'm just like, okay, chill. Like, no one cares. Um, yeah, I just remember that I just remember that whole, like, people had this hierarchy because they read the books or some stuff. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, but, like, who cares? We're just trying to enjoy a show. Like, chill. Yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> like, just like, enjoy the show. Just have fun. Like, right. <laughs> I also love great. seeing the, like, the kids grow up. Like, you yeah. know, with our generation with Harry Potter, we got to watch yes. them grow up. And right. so, like, watching the kids on the show grow up to be, you know, such amazing kids. Mm -hmm. And especially the girls grew up to be amazing women. It's right, just, it's so great to see, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's because of the characters that they played too. So that that's really heartwarming. Yeah, yeah. What was it? and even um, like Sansa's character, like I remember yeah. she had said something like she didn't like she had a regular, you know, regular Instagram, social media, whatever. And then when the show started blowing up, that her like agent or people around her were like, "Oh, hey, like." You got to like now kind of watch what you not like watch what you say, but like you have a bigger audience now. So you can't just post certain things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not to like control it, but you have to really be like careful yeah. now because now you have, you know, so many people. You have a huge platform now. Yeah. So there are a lot she, more consequences to your actions. People are watching. Right. Yeah. So she was kind of like, yeah, just that evolution. And she's like, you know, I, it'll be. She sometimes I kind of struggled with. I remember reading something where she struggled with the fact that, like, yes, she's an actress, but since she's on this huge show, she'll get booked for things where she felt like another actress that did the part actually did better than her, but she got booked for it because she's known um, on Game of Thrones, you know? So mm -hmm. there were certain things where, um, mm -hmm. you know, she, I mean, and I like that she was very open about that, like, just mm -hmm. saying, like, I know yeah. I'm getting this because. I'm on this huge show, whereas this no-name person, you know, actually acted better than me, but they didn't get that commercial. I got it because, you know, people will recognize me. So mm -hmm. I like that she was very open about that because sometimes, yeah. like, you know, people people in, like, her position aren't. They'll just be all like, well, I got it because I'm talented and whatever. I mean, I know mm -hmm. I'd probably say that, but, like, <laughs> it's been a struggle exactly. for a very long time. So I kind of feel like I would say that. But I love that she's very humble about it and just, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> you know, for real. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so, looking... it was a great show. Anyway, <laughs> I'll, sh I'll shut up now. Sorry. It's a great show. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the comments and the fat Jedi Knight said I've never watched or, or I've never seen Game of Thrones. So if you want to, this is a good chance because now right. you can, if you binge hard enough, you can don't, you, they'll donate money to organizations. And that's a nice warm hug. And Lil Neko Kitty Tiffy, <laughs> I I'm sorry, Tiff. I, <laughs> I try to read usernames instead of say the names, but... <laughs> Tippy <laughs> said, apparently actors who play the meanest characters are usually the sweetest people in life. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's Look so at true. Wyatt like Wyatt Russell. Right? <laughs> like, we were talking about Winter Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Wyatt, Wyatt I was Russell literally was about sadness. to mention it. Right. <laughs> yes, and it's so much sadness that, like, these amazing, it just shows how amazing of an actor they are. Right. Especially when they're really nice people. It's like, you can't, mm -hmm. don't, don't, <laughs> and this exactly. is why I don't like, cult, like, people now just in general like they they do this thing where it's like ooh, i hate that character so i'm gonna hate the person and i'm gonna make sure right. that they try to kill themselves and i'm like why are you why are you being so extreme bro like right we're, we're family we're 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 they're right. doing things that you probably cannot do period right so, like that's just real so acting like ridiculous they, like how can you not differentiate yes, like, yes. the actor from <laughs> The character they're playing exactly that yeah. was you know tom felton still gets it a lot too from harry potter Aww, like but he's like, like the sweetest guy ever mm -hmm. and like he's like yeah i get little kids that are like terrified of me <laughs> yeah I mean, not even that powerful like yeah. come on now <laughs> did play that kind of scary part pretty well though <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but 
<laughs> I feel like this was a right. really I think this was a really fun show. Like, um, no, but we have a couple minutes left, so I wanted to be able to make sure that we she can talk about Wait, there oh, we go. Am I, am I, am I good? Am I good? Yeah, okay, yeah, kind okay. of, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to talk <laughs> yeah. really quick, so I apologize for listeners and the podcast. <laughs> we have a couple minutes left, so I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to tell, oh my you God. know, to do a shout out the way that they want to for the people that they want to. So I will start by reading this really, really quick. So it's a trigger warning. Shout out. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Sugar, I guess. <laughs> Trigger warning. Uh, What's in uh, the pancakes? So a pa- April is Whoa. many things, including sexual assault awareness month. And nearly one in five women in the U.S. have experienced rape or attempted rape in their lives. One in 67 men in the U.S. have also experienced a similar thing. Every 98 seconds, a, a person of the United States is sexually assaulted. And five out of every thousand perpetrators will end up in prison. Many aren't even charged or reported. So... To observe Sexual Assault Awareness Month, hashtag S-A-A-M, or go to um, wear the color teal to honor survivors and keep the conversation going. Or if you know anybody who's experiencing an issue, or if you're experiencing an issue, call the police or call 1-800-656-4673, aka 1-800-656-HOPE, so that you're connected to a trained staff member of the RAIN affiliate organization in your local area. It's completely confidential. And if you want to donate, do the donate. Here, this is the organization right here on the screen. For, for all you Twitchers that are watching and YouTubers that are watching, this is, the, this is the organization. Give them money because they do a good job. Okay. Hanako, you're a <laughs> I'm going to shout out the same thing that I did, I think, in the last one that I did which is Outlaws the series which is um what my fiance has been working on and lovely Seth has been you know sharing the Indiegogo and the Instagram page and everything like that for quite some time now but they finally they reached their initial goal which was fifteen thousand dollars on Indiegogo and they're still trying to raise money so that they can have better um effects and stuff like that so that they can present the sizzle to um to wb and hopefully get picked up for hbo um if you guys go to outlaws the series on instagram um you can find the link to their indiegogo and you know they they do lives almost every day where they answer your questions so please please if you guys can share their um they're basically partnering with thorn.org to save um, kids that are being trafficked. Um, so their show kind of revolves around that theme, their first season at least. Um, so if I could get you guys to share, if you guys can donate, it would be really, really great. Um, they're a lot of fun. It's been a really fun project to watch. I booped and I made a boo-boo, but I fixed it. <laughs> Apparently I made too many boo-boos. But Whitney, your turn. What would you like to do the shout out for? So I'm going to give a shout out, actually. I feel like I've previously shouted them out before, but I have two of my best friends, Matt and Julian, uh, who reside in Las Vegas, but they actually have their own face mask company, Bad Juju Mask, and it's all customizable, and they actually do, like, a lot of donations and charity work, and they're just awesome human beings and with awesome customizable masks. I mean, these things are, like, works of art. So if you want to look cool and geeky but also be safe, I would definitely recommend ordering from us. I swear, I unmuted this time. Okay, awesome. Yay! <laughs> and, and Ginger, your turn. <laughs> uh, thank you. So um, I'm just going to just do a small self-promotion here just because, um, you know, being out of work and trying to um, promote myself. <laughs> uh, but I make clothing. Uh, I have a clothing brand, L Royalty Clothing. Um and uh, I make uh, women's contemporary clothing, dresses, um, dresses and tops. And uh, my bestseller is my, are my raincoats um, that are made out of colored vinyl. So those are, um, I'm having a sale on my website right now. Um, they are 25% off if you use the code RAIN25 uh, at checkout. So they are 25% off um, right now. Um, and you can just... Check out my brand on um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Pinterest. Um, there's also a TikTok for, you know, when I become 12, I guess at some point, I'll start using TikTok. Um, so there's not that much on there. But um, <laughs> mainly, 
because I'm too old for that. Mainly, um, you know, um, Instagram and Facebook, because since those are the most kind of visual and the website, also I have an Etsy, but I'm trying to get more people to my website so I don't have to pay so many Etsy fees. Um, <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so I make clothing. I do go up from, I go from extra small to literally like 5X. Uh, but anyway, I do plus size as well. Um, and then if you don't fit into my um, size chart, I do custom because I make everything myself um, by pattern making, sewing and all of that jazz. So if you would like to buy some cool, cute, and unique items you can um, find me online or um, anywhere um, I also have a YouTube channel where I talk about how to build your clothing brand and um, be an entrepreneur so I do have that as well so <laughs> I have to say it like that I don't know why I just have to um, but uh, you can check me out there as well um, but if you just you know google um, L royalty clothing um, the L stood for Lolita when I thought I wanted to be a Lolita designer. But then um, I just found out that there's so many rules and I was like, oh, I don't follow those. So I'll just <laughs> kind of keep the name, but like change a little bit because it's inspired by Lolita. But like, I'm going to be in inspired by Yay. where you, you see a ruffle it's or two. so cute. <laughs> it is super it's cute. so adorable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can, we can vouch. Like, they're really cool. Like, the, the, the clothes are amazing and beautiful and super kawaii. Yeah. So, I mean, look, you're not that far off. Uh, Lolita, Lolita as an entire, in, in entity is, we could talk, we could, I could spend hours on that, but. Oh, yeah. We're not going to <laughs> That's a whole yeah. other thing. Yeah, because we talk about that. No. We're talking about that show you were on, girl. Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, man. Like, no. I'm playing. I'm playing. That'll be another episode. I want to yeah. be on that episode. <laughs> 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 but i just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in thank you for the people that are watching thank you for the people that are listening thank you to hanako whitney and ginger for being on the show and bringing so much fun content for us and yes if you want follow them all on their instagrams and their their social media handles and things i uh, will be sure to make sure that all the links are in our youtube page so check it out and then yeah other than that have a great day have a great week i will see you Thank guys in two you. weeks on the 22nd yeah. for nom talk live i don't know what it is yet but it'll be good it'll i be love fun. you all have a great day bye bye, bye. <laughs>